I'm standing up here in front of my TV because I always lose these remotes and I'm hoping to fix it today. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have two remotes here, one for my streaming device and then one for the Roku TV, which is right back there. And neither of these are original. In fact, well, this one is, I think, an aftermarket because I've lost them so many times. Now, there may be a lot of reasons that they get lost. Different people come in here. In fact, I think one of the remotes was when there was a kid playing with one of the floor vents and then he threw the remote down there and it goes like straight down. So that's never going to be found again. But you may have a problem just in your own household where the remote falls between the seat cushions or under the couch or gets taken to the kitchen or wherever, right? And you can't find it. So I picked up something that I hope is going to prevent me from ever buying an aftermarket remote again. Let's check it out. All right. So this says wireless key finder and I don't need it to find keys, but if you lose your keys, your wallet, those types of things, you can use this to find those as well. But you get four of these little tabs and they're kind of about an inch and three quarters tall here pretty thin like four millimeters thick five millimeters looks like maybe that's where the sound will come from a hole here for lanyard and then we have these lines here i don't know that this needs to be overly aesthetically pleasing or anything but you can see one two three four and then that will correspond to this little finder here which is also the same aesthetic and so we get these buttons right here and this looks like it will just sit up here so you can put it next to your tv and we have a nice like wide base so if i open this up here ooh, a little tight but now we can put in two AAA batteries and power that up but what's also interesting here is we get little rings so that you can attach this to your keychain if you need to and we also get batteries for the little sounders here so looks like there's a little opening right here i think i can just pop this open just like this and kind of twist those open a little flathead screwdriver will be your friend on this like i will it's not super easy to get these open it's not hard but i just thought if you get that top open they would just pop apart here and now we put the button battery in here we have four of these button batteries included so what i'm actually surprised about is that they don't include the two AAA batteries to go in there. And what I will say here is if you're wondering which side goes up, I believe the positive will go up. So just like that. And now I can push this back together. And I'm pretty sure that's right because I feel like I can see the little blinking red light right through there. So you just push that down the flat surface. All right, now it's all back together. And now let's put in some batteries into the finder, just like this. Let's see what it does when I hit number one here. I'm gonna hold this up to the microphone so you can hear it. So it does two rounds of this high pitched beeping. Now I will say it's pretty high pitched and it's not super loud. It's not as loud as like the pinging on an Apple watch when you're trying to find it, but it's actually plenty loud, especially if this is in seat cushions or something, I think you're gonna hear it no problem. Now, one thing I wanna show you here is that not only do you get the little rings to attach to keys, but they also include some of these double-sided sticky squares, right? So that you can just kind of stick these to things. Now, in my case, what I wanna do is I wanna stick it to my remote here and it's kind of got this curved back surface and I don't wanna make it a permanent thing, but I'm actually gonna use my vinyl double-sided tape because this tends to stick very well. And the nice thing about this is it tends not to leave residue when I pull it off. So what I wanna do here is I want to go ahead and stick it to this and I'm actually going to stick it on this side because even though I will have to know which is one and two, the little opening there that emits the sound, I want that facing out and I don't want it to be covered by tape. So you can absolutely use these or these, but if you want to pick up this, this is a nice little option too. But the cool thing about this is now I am never going to lose my remotes. I will always be able to find them with this little finder here and that is going to save me a ton of headache and honestly some costs on replacement remotes which I have purchased now a few times. So if you want to pick up this little set, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can more and explore so much deeper.